In 1994, Star Student Action for Refugees was set up for students at Nottingham University in order to get involved in supporting refugees. Word spread, and so founder Andy Davis and his co-founder Ellie Hargreave were able to establish two more star groups in London and Edinburgh in 1996. In 1998, Star's first national conference, Beyond Words. Took place and was attended by over 80 star members. The need to support asylum seekers, when in 1999 the government introduced its policy of dispersal, caused again a rapid growth of the star network. The registered charity was supported by 16 star groups. Also, the Friends of Star scheme was launched as a way of enabling star graduates to remain supporters of the network. In 2002, Star received funding to employ four staff members who worked hard on Star's first national campaign. One year later, Star's first National Action Day took place. After a short break, the 10th annual National Star Conference was held. In 2008, 900 star members left out in 21 cities in order to stop the destitution of refused asylum seekers as part of the Still Human, Still Here campaign. Further, Equal Access campaign was launched. With over 5,000 students, Star reached its highest membership in 2010. Also, the network was part of 45 volunteering projects. English conversation clubs were established to provide support to hundreds of refugees. Two years later, over 3,000 people slept out in the streets, bringing across the message: "Asylum seekers must not be left homeless and hungry by Home Office, and they are still human, still here." This was followed by a welcome week. One year later, Star then consisted of 28 star groups and 24 equal access universities. In 2016, the focus was on the refugee crisis under the campaign "Save Roots, Save Lives." During Action Week, Star ran the campaign called "Families Together." All in all, Star has reached hundreds of thousands of people. Now it's time to celebrate. 25 years of Star, and the future is ours to make. Happy birthday, and a massive thank you to all of us.